Well, hello. In this video, I want to show you how to add royalty free music to your video. There are many sites that are out there that provide royalty free music. Some provide music that uh, is at a cost, but the one that I'm using is Ben Sound. As you can tell, there's a number of different genre of music that you can select from. And if you want something cinematic, you might hear something like or all the music is quite well done and so it's really just up to you how much what type and how long uh, the music is that you want to add to your video if you want to add music to your video the uh, as you can tell some of the music is free one of the things that i'd like to point out is that uh, it gives you the time uh, how long it'll take or how long the music lasts in this case is four minutes 54 seconds perhaps you don't need all that much time or maybe you do and if you like music but it isn't available for download you can purchase it for a nominal fee so i'm going to select a piece of music i'm going to go to uh, the corporate pop and I'm going to go down to inspire this is what it sounds like and I find that to be uh, very useful for the video that I'm going to use it for so I go over here and click download and then uh, it'll sit in my download until I'm ready to use it next we're going to open up OpenShot and then walk through that process now there are previous video tutorials on how to open OpenShot and some of the basic uh, information on how to use the various features. And so uh, I'll refer you to those videos rather than cover all of that. One of the things, the first things you want to do is, of course, open up your video itself. And there's a number of ways you can pull your video into the OpenShot video editor. So I've got my videos in a file. I'm simply going to grab a couple of videos and a couple of pictures and uh, pull those into um, OpenShot. I'll try this one and then maybe this one. And that's really all there is to pulling in the videos. Bring in one more just in case. All right, so here's my videos. As with um, as was shown in the tutorials, you can put your videos on the timeline, any of the timelines. You can separate them. You can add them together, whatever, uh, w whichever way works best for you. So I'm just going to grab this video of a tunnel shot. And I'm going to drop it right here on the track one. And I'm going to grab this image and I'm going to set it on the same track. So if you're watching this, uh, or if I'm watching this, if I move the uh, video header to the very top, and then I click on uh, play, it's going to play first that image, and then it's going to go into the video itself. This is an overhead image that I took of uh, this particular uh, train area. And then it jumps into a uh, image of the tunnel, one of the tunnels, and leaving the tunnel. So that's uh, really all there is to that piece. One of the things that I'll, I'll uh, touch on is that you can add in transitions simply by moving the video on top of the, um, in this case, is the image. And when you do, you'll see that there's a, a transition that happens. So it's not just a, a quick shot, I mean a quick uh, cut. The next thing I want to do is I want to add in the music. So I've already downloaded the music um, to my uh, computer. So I'm going to go and open it. And I will find it here under the downloads. And it's called Inspire. Here's the Inspire. I will drop it right over here. 
And as with the video, you simply grab hold of the music and then drop it onto another track. Now, right now, if I were to click the start, you would see, I've got this off, offset just a little bit, you would see the uh, video would start with the overhead picture, then the uh, transition would occur, and then the uh, audio would start. Now, you can start it any way you like. This is uh, just one way of doing this. So I'm going to have this started. Uh, here's the overhead shot, and then comes the transition, followed by the music. So my music is a little jumpy because I have a uh, pretty slow processor, and I've added in some other things. If you don't need that uh, opening image or if you don't need the transitions, which usually um, many times you don't need the transition at all, you could uh, simply start the video without the transition and it usually plays a little bit smoother. You'll note that the uh, video is just continuing to go even across the, the uh, transition. And that's all there is to add in the video. The next thing I want to show. So in this case, I want to give my video an interesting title just so that it doesn't just start with music and then a, uh, an opening scene. So if you go to the top of OpenShot and click on title, you can select title, or you could have hit control T. Now there's a number of different templates that are already here. Just because I think it's interesting, we're going to use this Creative Commons one. Once you click onto the particular title, note that you can change a lot of information that's already in here. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to add in the song, video features a song, inspire. And I'll add in the uh, Inspire's author, as well as the uh, location where it came from and the licensing agreement, if there is any. And then once I've got that information in here, I'm going to hit Save, and it's going to save that information right here. The last thing I need to do is grab hold of that um, title, whatever it is, and I'm going to drop it right here. Uh, on this track. Now I could put the title anywhere that I want it and in fact I am going to move it down to the first track because I in this case I want the title to show up um, I want the title to show up on my uh, video right before the video starts itself. So let me grab that again and drop it right here. There we are. And in keeping with uh, what I'm trying to do here, I want to slide my, let me get rid of that one. I want to slide my music to start just after the title track uh, finishes. So in your title track, you can add in, you can customize that to add in pretty much anything that you want it to, talk about the video itself, who produced it. And if you'll remember, when you looked at the title track uh, choices, there were some pretty uh, cool ones, like the things you'd see in the film ratings that you can, again, modify and adjust so that you could use those uh, at your leisure. You can also go in and just add in uh, bubbles on, and uh, specifically change the uh, line information uh, so that it shows up on your video. Whatever you decide to add into your title track, uh, you, you can do so uh, from that screen. So I'm going to start my completed project over, and here's my title, and the music comes in, followed by an overhead shot, and then the timing of the music in this case is perfect because it starts jumping right into uh, the start of the video. Again, I've 
added that just a little bit too close. I, I want to give a little bit of separation there so that the music doesn't overlap. But at any rate, um, the music will go until uh, it ends, or I can bring, since my uh, video ends here, I can simply go to the end of the music, click on it, and drag it to here. So that ends when the video ends. And that takes care of itself automatically. It doesn't speed the music up. It doesn't overlap it or anything like that. So that's how you would add music, and in this case, add music and a title to your video.